If you feel like rewriting history, all you have to do these days is get onto the popular website Wikipedia. It's an online encyclopedia that anybody can change. And it seems government employees have been doing just that very diligently, removing any unflattering details about certain politicians. It's one of the most popular websites in Australia. More and more people are relying on Wikipedia to get the facts. But who determines the facts? I've never actually been onto Wikipedia, but uh, if it's possible uh, to write my own entry, uh, maybe I should get in there and give myself a bit of praise. Anyone with an internet connection can edit items. Jason Ruck has created his own pages and is a keen contributor. And I can um, delete certain things, click that, and then I can just click uh, save this page. Wikipedia says other editors are always around to correct any errors. Now a new computer program has revealed exactly who's been making changes. It turns out the Defence Department has racked up 5,000 edits and there have been 126 alterations on issues like the Children Overboard Affair and deleting a reference to Treasurer Peter Costello as Captain Smirk. The Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet tonight denied responsibility. I guess anybody can... Um can uh, access Wikipedia sites. It's, uh, I don't think there's a law against that. Wikipedia supporters are adamant it's still reliable. So if you feel that um, somehow that it's, um, it's, it's trying to be persuasive or in, into a certain bias, then you can go into the history and you can compare the versions and see the history of it. Uh, it's an interesting prospect, isn't it? Uh, writing your own history. So